Hello and welcome, this is Johan from AppsFresh.com. Today I'm going to reveal the new source code for the Fall 2014 mobile app reskinning tournament. Now, since this is the Fall of 2014, we decided to go with a Halloween theme. Why? Because Halloween is very trendy around the Fall, the, the fall uh, term and uh, this can um, definitely boost up your game download. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the new source code. Okay, so let me click on the play button and show you what it is all about. All right, so the name of the game is called Make Them Stack. Now, as you can already understand by the name of it, you basically have to stack blocks on top of each other without having them to fall. So the more you can stack up, the greater your score is and you need to basically get to the highest score without having the, the tower of blocks falling, okay? So um, obviously this is a Halloween theme, so it's gonna be with monsters and witches and vampires and so on. So let me click on the play button so you guys can see what it's gonna be about. So this is basically the instructions. It's showing you that you need to um, basically stack these blocks. Let me play, all right? So you see the hand coming with um, a skeleton in a cage, so we gotta drop this on top of the graveyard. Here it is. Now it's a bit slow on my computer because I'm recording at the same time, but know that it's really smooth on the phone. Okay, so we gotta keep going. As you can see, the nice animation right here on top. Okay, I'm gonna drop, and as you can see, it's starting to move a little bit. You guys see it? It's getting uh, kind of um, of uh, moving. Okay, so um, it's about to fall, but basically it's going faster and faster. So you gotta make sure that you get this right. Oh, all right, I just lost. Uh, it just fell. So as soon as I lost, now I get um, advertising networks. This one is the uh, RevMob full screen interstitial. This one is the Charboost one. And obviously you see the, the other source of revenue right here. You have the AdMob as well. Okay. Now this can go viral because you also have share on Facebook, Twitter and share by um, email. And you obviously have the rate and review button right here. Now this also come with a leaderboard. Okay. So um, Actually, this game is very simple to risk in, okay? So that's basically all the functionality you have. It's all right there. There's no more other screens hidden or any, any, any more details. Okay, so now let's take a look at the source code. So whenever you, um, you uh, receive it, you just unzip it and you will end up with um, this, um, this folder structure. Now, under Jump Jump, you have all the source code right here. And under Graphics Halloween, you have a bunch of freebies, okay? Now, we do not own these freebies. They're from uh, multiple websites and uh, they're all free to use. So we made sure that we only download things that are um, open source um, or that have no uh, commercial licenses or copyrights on it, okay? So um, make sure you do that again whenever you uh, download. Or if you want, you can also give credits in, um, in the main view if you happen to um, use something else than what we have here, okay? All right, so now let's take a look at the source code. Now, as you can see, under Jump Jump, you have a resources folder, and this contains all the graphics, okay? Right here, textures contains, obviously, the images, and sound contains the sounds. Now, as you can see, there's only five sounds. That's all there is. It's really that simple. Now, let's take a look at the textures. So, the first one, the first folder is the blocks. Now, as you can see, blocks are pretty simple. Uh, there's four for four different resolutions, Retina, Non-Retina, iPad, and iPad HD, okay? And there's uh, actually four blocks, okay? So this is the first block, this is the second block, the third block, and the fourth block, all right? So that's basically what you have to risk in, and you can reuse the, the, the images that we gave in the um, resources, the other resources folder, okay? Now, the character is basically just uh, the animation of the... Um, the kind of a ghost that comes and goes as the, the tower is moving up, okay? Now, the clouds are actually um, this uh, blurry, I don't know if you guys saw it, it's the, those blurry ghosts up top, okay? And that's basically all it is, okay? And this is moving back and forth, okay? So it gives this spooky effect on top of it. And it is, it, it's semi-transparent, so it looks like it's going through the cages. That's really good. Then here are the flags. Basically, uh, the flags keep... Uh, keep the score if you have a, a high score or if uh, every 10 every 10 points you get a flag there too so you can actually know what score you're having now the ground is as simple as what it says 
it has the mid ground, which is the beginning, then the ground that's in front of it. Right now, mine is empty, but if you want something in front of the mid ground, you can put it in the ground. Right now, it's empty. And then the background, um, I left it um, empty because I'm using the theme uh, colors. So this generates um, random colors, random Halloween colors in the background. So it goes from blue to yellow to orange to a reddish to, you know, like spooky colors. But feel free to change these colors. Now, how do you change the background colors? It's very simple. You go in the gameplaylayer.mm and you go all the way down and you will look for um, the colors. Um, what I can just tell you is that you have to look for um, BG, that would be one way. Okay, so me, let me keep looking for it. There it is. Okay, so initialize the theme colors and these are RGB colors. So this is for the background, BG is for background. Okay, so this is the first color. Okay, this is the second color. This is the third color. Okay, so RGB, red, green, blue. Now, how do you get uh, uh, red, green, blue colors? Just go on the internet and type RGB colors and you will have um, uh, lots of RGB colors. Okay, now this one has three different colors, but feel free to put more here. All right, so what else can you do here? Um, you got to go to the global.h file, okay? And here you can put your Apple App ID. That's the one that people are going to use for rating the game. You can use the Charboost App ID and signature, the RevMob App ID, and the AdMob Banner ID, okay? So with that, you have all your advertising network set up. You also have the leaderboard right here, okay? and you have the share message for Facebook and Twitter right there, okay? So make sure this is 140 characters or no more so it can work straight on Twitter, all right? And honestly, that's all you really need to know for uh, the variables. The rest are just tweaking if you really want to, but nothing major, it's only if you want to. Now, if you want to tweak a little bit more, for those of you that are a little bit more daring, you can go in the gameplaylayer.mm file, and all the way up top, you can play with some variables, okay? So you can choose the cloud speed, so those ghosts, at what speed you want them to go, how many boxes you have, uh, where the first box starts. Here it's, it starts at 75 pixels from the, from the bottom, but you can increase that. The box scale, so that's basically every cages that are falling, you can have them of different sizes. Instead of, um, right now they are, they, are, they are 0.65, but you can make them bigger by putting one or 1.25 or two and so on. Okay, then you have the bird scale, which is the, the, the ghost. You can make it bigger or smaller. The smoke effect, make this a bigger smoke effect or a smaller one. So really, you just have to basically read. It's pretty straightforward. And you can change also the font colors. Uh, it's up to you, really. But at this point, you guys should uh, have everything you need. It's really that simple. Now, don't forget to do a product clean and product build so that you can see your changes whenever you play with it, okay? Now, let's go back to uh, the graphics. In the GUI folder, you obviously have all the um, menus, okay? So Facebook button, the mail button, the play button, the raid button, the Twitter button, and so on. The title is here, by the way. FP is for the title, okay? All right, now you have the hand. You really don't have to change that. This is the hand that uh, commands or controls the falling items. This uh, is the instructions. And then the smoke effect, really, you don't want to change the smoke effect, just leave it the way it is. Or you can put any other effect you want. You can put sparkle effect or fireworks, it's really up to you. Then the words here, when, uh, when you position it well, it says good, and when you position it, uh, position it perfectly, it says perfect. Okay, so that's really uh, pretty much everything you need to know. Now, um, I want you to do some uh, amazing things, and we really provide you with lots of graphics that uh, you need to make uh, life a lot easier. In the graphics Halloween, if you really go through that, you'll see you can do a lot more. See, there's packages, there's, there's plenty of different things that you can use here and there to make your life a lot easier, okay? So there's even zombie faces, uh, jail bars, there's uh, pumpkins, you know, so skeletons, and you name it, we have plenty of things, you know, that will make the experience a lot better and, um, and really um, give a little flavor or, or kick. But uh, don't take my words for granted. You do not have to just stop and do Halloween themes. You really can do anything you want. You want to do pandas, you want to do candies, you want to stack candies, you want to stack uh, fireworks, go for it, really. There's no, um, um, as long as you keep the game mechanics, we're good to go. Now, for those of you that are a bit more daring, you can modify the code. Uh, what matters is that is that you keep the game the main game mechanics, which is stacking things on top of each other. As long as you do that, it's okay. Now you can make them stack in different ways. You can change a little bit the game mechanics. That's really up to you. You don't have to, but if you want to go the extra mile, go for it. 
Um, now, I'm expecting some amazing things coming out of you. So please join the tournament if you have not. You can go on um, appsfresh.com slash tournament. That's A-P-P-S-F-R-E-S-H dot com slash tournament. Okay, you can go there and you can register. Um, and um, if you have any questions, just contact me at info at appsfresh.com. My name is Johan. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to see some amazing games from you. See you guys after a tournament. Thank you.